Have you struggled with your print and cut workflow? Are you looking to extract cost and simplify your print production? Let's take a look at how Fiery's latest software can help automate and streamline your production workflow. I'm Jeremy Tesh, technical sales for Fiery Wide Format. I'd like to talk to you today about our, one of our newest products, Fiery Prepit. So Fiery Prepit is a standalone application, uh, sits in front of your RIP system, in front of your production, can feed all of your servers, all of your printers with one copy of Prepit. What it provides is a automated print-to-cut solution. So um, with the right type of files, the right workflow, we can offer up to 50% media savings. And whenever you're saving that amount of media, you're also saving and optimizing throughput through your printers. So you're feeding less boards through your printers, uh, changing substrate less, uh, less often, and um, you're saving time on the front end preparing jobs for that print-to-cut workflow. And that follows through all the way through the cutting. Uh, um, if, you're, if you're optimizing your substrate usage, you're effectively making your printer faster, more throughput for your printer, and your cutting device. Okay, let's take a look at how Fiery Prepit can help. So Fiery Prepit is client-server software. Uh, the server runs here in the system tray. Preferences are separate, uh, centrally located, and then the client will run on both PC or Mac. The other thing to remember is that Fiery uh, Prepit is uh, RIP agnostic, so that means you can use it in any workflow. So obviously, uh, we have excellent integration into a Fiery workflow, but um, we have tie-ins to Caldera Onyx, so we don't want to have a limitation for uh, where you can integrate Fiery Prepit and benefit from uh, media savings and time savings and so on. So we've removed those limitations. Um, so let me show you what this looks like. So here we are in the job queue. So Prepit consists of uh, multiple queues here. The job queue is really kind of just starting position, collecting jobs initially, getting them prepared uh, for the system um, and working it, uh, directing it to substrates, and then getting um, the imposition uh, happening. So I've got a few files in here right now. We can take a look at those. I'm gonna bring in some new files and uh, get those nested. Okay, so we have this group of files. You can preview them here. I could select these and, and set certain quantities and so on, but what I'm gonna do in this example is just quickly apply an automation. And what an automation does is it does a lot of the preparation up front. So if you have predictable spot color names, layer names, and so on, this automation will grab those, make assignments to cut tools, and also uh, you know, preset media and so on. I'm gonna change the media for this example to MDF, uh, four by eight foot boards. We have a quantity of five, and we're just gonna go ahead and bring these in. And as these come in, they're gonna enter the job queue, but they're not gonna stay there very long. Um, the reason for that is the, the automation that I applied. So it's doing a lot of that manual job prep and all that clicking goes away. Um, and very quickly, these are then transitioning to the nesting queue. So in the nesting queue, we have a multiple substrates kind of staged here, um, textile, self-adhesive vinyl, and so on. And then we have the MDF substrate where uh, we just sent those jobs. And basically what the nesting, the nesting queue is providing a staging area per substrate where we're bringing in individual files um, and collecting them so that when we're ready to go to production on our printer for that particular substrate for the day, um, we, have, we can very easily do that. So I can select individual files in here and send these to a nesting operation. Um, I can modify settings and so on or I can just wait until I have all those files and it looks like they're all about here in the MDF substrate. And if I click the substrate name itself, these will go to nest. And this is the true power of Fiery Prepit. Actually, that was the wrong media size. So let me just change that real quick. We're gonna change. And this is where you can see some of the, the late stage changes you can make. Um, so we're gonna change the settings. We're gonna go to uh, that four by eight foot board. Um, and we can have multiple sizes per substrate. And that's why you saw that smaller size. That was the last one I worked with. Okay, so now these are all, this is where we're essentially doing that um, endless math problem of calculating position best fit. Um, and by default, all of our workflows are set to do this um, 
per, do a 60 second calculation. And this is industry leading uh, calculation time. And you can see that we've, we've moved this from four boards to three. So significant media savings. And you know, we're 10 to 12% uh, better than some of our competitors in, in most cases. Um, and what you see here is, um, you know, as this calculation goes through, uh, what we're doing, we have give you the ability per substrate, and this is important, is to change how this is calculated. So here, by default, we have a free angle lo rotation, which offers uh, best fit. But it, if we're doing something on like um, a coroplast substrate, where we have fluting in the in the substrate, the, the media, we can orientate this to a zero and a 180 degree rotation, um, and and align with the flutes um, for that type of signage. Um, once this is complete, basically uh, we've got optimized media usage here. The registration marks are applied. We have super space efficient and flexible mark placement, barcode integration with your cutter. Uh, in terms of cutting devices, we support um, cutters directly out of Fiery Prep It. We can route the cut data around your rip, or because we have that integration into Fiery Onyx, Caldera and so on, we can tie into the cutting devices that are supported uh, within those platforms. So in case of Fiery, we're supporting about 2,000 different cutting devices um, with this solution. So clear, clear media savings in here. Um, I'm just gonna uh, take this job to the end here. We can then uh, go to generate, send this to any of my connected uh, servers, printers, uh, rips, um, here I only have two examples on the output side. We'll send it over here to the uh, ViewTech. And basically it's going to create that imposed PDF, send it over to whatever workflow you're working with. And we can see here, it's now coming into um, Fiery. And because we have that integration, RIP integration, the settings are aligned. So we're printing obviously from the RIP, but we're also, in some cases, driving the cutter from the rip, so that there's a, a coordination that's happening in the background with uh, Fiery Prep It and, and, and your rip of choice. Uh, a couple more examples. If I bring an individual file, uh, let's just bring in the Mountain Goat in this example. I'm not gonna apply the automation in this case. We're just gonna go to the MDF substrate. We'll do a quantity of 20 and we'll bring that in. And now this job is not queuing over to the, uh, to the nesting queue. And I got a little bit different response here. And this gives me the opportunity for unfamiliar files to prep the job more hands-on. And this kind of shows you, you know, if I'm w working with a file initially, I might have to discover how this file is built. Um, if this stuff is a little bit less predictable in terms of how these files are built, you may need to do some manual uh, intervention here. And this just shows you kind of the, the, the flexibility that prep it has. So basically any vector element I can assign to a cutting tool. Um, I can also identify elements um, multiple different ways, same stroke, same color. Also if I have a spot color uh, identify with a cut path, I can then make that selection very easily. And this is actually what the automation was doing previously. Uh, I can also control this via layers and so on. Um, so let's make that selection here. We're gonna identify the spot color cut path and then just make the alignment to a through cut. And to do that, I'm just gonna hit two on my keyboard. Now that assignment's done. And before I jump out of this editor, um, all of these uh, cut paths can be modified within here without having to go upstream in your workflow and, and modify things later on. So I'm gonna click OK. This job's now happy. We can send it off to the nesting queue. And now if this is a job that is, has that repeatable spot color, I can, I can build an automation around that. And all those settings, like I said, are centrally stored within the, the, uh, the, the server. So now that's here, and we can send that to go get nested, and so on. So again, these are very irregularly shaped objects, so there's there's huge amount of opportunity for media savings. And because we're condensing this into smaller boards, we're also effectively increasing the throughput of our printer because we're just feeding less material through our printer, and the same goes for the cutting 
uh, piece. So instead of cutting four boards and placing that operator, placing that on, on, the, uh, on the cutting device, we're only doing a, maybe one or two. Um, now, let me just show you one final example here over on the textile queue. I've got some things prepared here. If I just go ahead and nest this, this is a, a trade show graphic example. So here we have quite large five meter printer and multiple pieces uh, going on, uh, basically soft signage um, for a trade show booth. And you can see, even though these aren't exotic shapes, we still have the opportunity for all kinds of media savings. So we're still offering, you know, maybe not 50%, but you know, 20%, 30% media savings with this kind of arrangement. Um, I'm gonna send this again. We'll interrupt that. We can interrupt this calculation anytime if we think we've got a best fit. Um, and we'll send that over to our workflow. So that just gives you a small sampling of the, the opportunity within Fiery Prep It. Um, anytime you're doing media savings, you're also saving uh, throughput through the printer. Um, and, and that's effective, that's very important in this environment where substrate availability, consistency, and a pressure on the labor environment. Um, with a copy of Prep It, you can really streamline your workflow um, and, and optimize uh, your cost situation. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I'd like to thank IT Supplies for supporting Fiery over the years, and I hope you take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. And when it comes to printing, and color management, IT Supplies is here to help your business succeed.